Hey guys, so I've been all night been tossing and turning about this um, Princess of Cups, this Page of Cups and um, what message or download I've been receiving is what the 5D soulmate, what their higher self wants to apologise to each sign about. So we'll see this come up in the readings and people can say well I haven't had an apology some of you have had an apology um, but maybe the clearer message didn't come through so in today's readings I want to look at what their 5d self what their higher self wants to apologize to each zodiac about so I hope that you guys will enjoy this message enjoy these videos please like share subscribe watch your moon and rising signs to help you get a clearer message and we'll go on with the readings hey aries let's see what your soulmate is sorry about here it can be anybody uh that you have on your mind at this time so it can be romantic friend family work colleagues you'll know Okay, Aries, let's see. Four of Cups, Temperance, and Five of Wands. Um, okay, this person here made you feel rejected, always causing problems here. Wants a second chance with you, but has this internal battle going on. That because they rejected you, they're worried that you're going to reject them. Um, this person here could have picked somebody else with these three cups and they're thinking about you this person's sorry that they picked the other person um because they want this second chance but this is about higher learning this you will learn from this they will learn from this this can be easily overcome um if we put our egos to the side right and we go through those higher lessons and learn we can see that this connection could manifest again because there is a cup here behind their head so we see an offer manifesting and of course we have free will so it'd be up to you both that you know do we want to come back together um this person's sorry for always like i don't know trying to make you small or trying to make you dim or um maybe saying that oh you're too much Oh, you're like this or you're like that. Some sort of like accusations to try and make you dim. Because you are not too much. Okay, don't let anybody tell you you're too much. They just felt like that if you were shining so bright, it would make everybody else want you and they wouldn't be able to keep up with it. They was discontented they was unhappy that <clears throat> you might get an offer from somebody else and somebody else might steal you away from them um that you know your love might go in a different direction so it's like before you leave me i'm gonna leave you before like this person could have even said to you hey really mean things at the worst end of this scale they could have said things like nobody wants you and tried to make you believe that about yourself like i said this could be a friend um family lover this is somebody who is almost quite jealous of you how you shine how you are how you draw energy to you how well things go for you if you like that they could have tried to tell you that oh you're not good enough just oh you're always making arguments you're always making problems and things like that but you wasn't you know it could have left you wondering what the hell did i do for this person to reject me or not love me or not want me um how do i get love so you end up overcompensating and then that makes them you know hold on to you tighter and say hey you know what um i just want to tell you the truth i'm just being a friend that you should change that about yourself or you should fix that about yourself and it really does feel like huge amounts of jealousy of your energy, our uh, people around you. 
Um, this could even be like, let's say when you was a child having adults jealous of you because of um, your loving nature, your loving self, how you can manifest what you desire. It might have felt easier as a child because let's say as you've grown up, people have told you that you're not worthy or you're not good enough or you know, you're too happy or something like that. So now you try to fit in with a crowd and then when you try to fit in with a crowd you end up feeling depressed, anxiety, those sort of things is your higher self trying to let you know that you're going the wrong direction trying to please other people. This sassy energy that comes with the five of wands, Mars energy, that fire, you know, it's beautiful within you. It's who you are and it scares people that you are, you know, like that, unique, creative, beautiful, desirable, that if this was a friend and you was getting everybody looking your way, this friend would be jealous that all the guys or all the girls fancy you. So they, you know, try to make you feel bad about yourself in a way that they was trying to say, well, I love you. This is why I'm telling it for you. This is why I'm telling you this. But it's not true. And this is not why they went to somebody else or chose somebody else. Because they are sorry they picked somebody else and they would like a second chance. Because the truth be told, this is the second highest card in the deck for love. They're trying to figure out how they can love you again. I'm sorry I picked somebody else when I love you the most. This is something they could have easily overcome, but they chose to turn it into arguments and things like that. Um, the alchemist and the chariot there at the bottom of the deck. They're trying to find a way to manifest this offer um, either from you initially, even though they could have rejected you and thought you was going to keep chasing them to build their ego and eventually you stopped and quit and, you know, started healing yourself, learning your lessons with temperance there. Then when the offers were no longer coming to them, they kind of felt lost and what do I do? Where shall I go? Where, you know, what do I do now? I've lost the one person that I actually love and wanted to be with through my own jealousy. This is what we're seeing here. These people being jealous around you. Like I say, maybe even from a very young age. But the problem is they did pick somebody else and they did make you feel like that. This reading though is about what they're sorry for doing to you. For making you feel. Because this is like making somebody feel not good enough. Unhappy. Depressed discontented, hurt, emotionally off balance and challenge and having to go through all that and then pick yourself up to then, you know, give somebody a second chance, right? Because they're looking for the right alchemy here. We see a temperance pouring from one cup to the other cup here. We see the magician looking for the right ingredients to make this happen. They're sorry about the arguments, the discussions, the um, things that seem so simple, but they turn into huge fights, making, you know, mountains out of molehills here. Like, they're sorry for that. They, they knew, they knew or they know what they're doing here. I guess they're looking for a way to change it. They're looking for an olive branch here, how to communicate and bond again, which maybe in the past you did lots of toxic bonding with them, like, you know, okay, get out, I don't believe you. And then they come back and say, you know what, something happened to me. And you say, okay, come in, I want to look after you, I want to protect you. So they come in a very vulnerable state and then very quickly again they create these challenges and arguments and disagreements and it's all stemming from this jealousy within them of your energy. 
feel like you could be like an indigo child or something like that and they know it and everybody around you once they are in your presence they feel this energy they're sorry you are loved you are loved by this person they're sorry they picked somebody else good luck guys